If I uh, apply a force to the globe, I can actually get it spinning r in roughly the same way that the Earth spins. But it is, it is tricky. There's very little friction on the bottom because of it being supported on this thin layer of water. And you can see the more force I apply to it, the more it accelerates. Ooh, so we're getting it speeding up here. When you, when you push that, like it's not too easy to, to get it going. Why is that? Friction, probably. So strange. <laughs> Why is it not really easy to push? What is it about this giant sphere that makes it a challenge to push? The weight. The resistance. The we're gravity, to... gravity. It's really heavy too, so I'm pretty sure the weight of it sitting down is making it tough too. You don't think its weight is supported by that water? Well, I know it's supported, but even though it's supported down, moving it, it's still, like if it's center of gravity is here, we still have to push the weight coming out from here. So it's pretty heavy, I'm pretty sure. Most people will say if you just apply a force to it, it starts moving. That's not really the point I want to make. The point I want to make is the more force you apply to it, the more it speeds up. The more it gets going faster and faster and faster. But it's got two and a half tons of inertia, so you can really feel that you have to push hard to accelerate it. What do you feel when you push on it? It just moves. When you push something, it moves. Does it do something more than move? Spinning. It's... Rotation, velocity, speed. There's some word you're looking for. There is a word I'm looking for. What do you feel? Is that hard? Oh, uh, not really. It's easy? It's well, not going very fast, though. It's not, like, hard to push, but it's sort of hard to get going fast. It's too big to make it fast. Is it hard to make it fast? Yeah. Why is it hard to make it fast? Can we try? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's get it going really fast. Ah. <laughs> How's <is> that? <laughs> Rotating. Oh, Spinning. So close. Moving. How do you make it go faster? Um, we only need to push hard, 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 and more harder than that. <laughs> you put a force on an object, a net force, an unbalanced force, and it. It, come on. Goes? <laughs> Go, the least scientific whatever. It goes. You studied physics, right? Yeah, which means I'm probably looking a little bit like a moron here, no, but that's okay. Like at all. It's easy to push, but like if you try to go fast, then it just sort of stays the same speed. But could you bring it to a stop? Probably not, definitely not. Can you give it a shot? You can stop the water. <laughs> well, other than cheating, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Not gonna happen. Really? Come <laughs> no, on, come I on, can't. come on. Put uh, your back into it. You can do it. Ah. I don't think it's gonna work, but we can give it a shot. Uh, kinda. <laughs> what do you see there? It's stopped, but I, it's only stopped because it's on like a very soft thing of water. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure. So you, you, it's not gonna stay stopped, or what? It shouldn't. Huh. All right. <laughs> Are you applying a force to this uh, sphere here? Yes. What happens when you apply a force to the sphere? Then it changes, like, speed. That's a pretty awesome observation you've just made. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, I guess. So we could generalize. We could say force causes... Change of In. speed. Man, you are nailing this. Can you give me a high five? Boom. What do you think physics is? Um, like how things work, I guess. And you want to know how things work? Yeah. How old are you? 11. You seem pretty smart for uh, being 11. Okay. Do people tell you that you're smart? No. Do you think you're smart? No. I think you're smart. Okay. You take my word for it? Okay. <laughs> really? Yeah, I guess.